Hey friends, let's take a look at a rose window. Rose windows are circular windows found in buildings with Gothic architecture. They are circular in design and complex, and they feature sections that almost look like petals, which is why they call them rose windows. We are going to make one of our own rose window inspired art, except ours are going to be square instead of circular. To get started, we will take a square piece of construction paper and fold it in half, then in half again, kind of like you are starting to make a snowflake. This next part is truly like you are cutting out a snowflake from your paper. You are going to draw designs um, before you cut them using a pencil. I'm using a Sharpie, so it's a little bit easier to see. Now, any of your shapes that you draw, you want them to connect only to one side of the paper. If they go all the way through, then you'll end up cutting a really, really big hole in your window, um, and that's not really what we're going for. Now. The cutting part is a little bit difficult because the paper is folded up. So just have patience with yourself and work slowly. Once you've cut out all of your shapes, um, place your scraps in the trash can and then unfold your paper and you have got the start of your rose window. Please write your name on this piece of paper as soon as you have finished cutting it. Now we're gonna take a plastic sheet and place it underneath your rose window. Um, just in case, you can go ahead and write your name on the plastic with a Sharpie as well, just to be sure we know this belongs to you because your first name on the construction paper could get covered up by the tissue paper. We're gonna rip and glue pieces of tissue paper to cover up the openings in your rose window. The glue we're using is kind of a watery glue mixture, so it spreads on really easily. But this means that you get to use a lot of glue. The more glue that you use, the better actually, the more shiny it will be in the end. And my recommendation here is to paint the glue down on top of the tissue paper um, instead of underneath it and then place it down. So place the tissue paper down first, then paint the glue on top of it and that will stick the best. And for this project, we can use multiple colors if you would like to. Um, so I'm gonna use green on the other sides. A fun thing about this is that you can even layer colors of tissue paper on top of each other um, so you can see what new colors you can make with the tissue paper. It's thin, so you'll still be able to see through it when you're finished. Also, don't worry if any of your tissue paper extends off of your window design, because when we're totally finished, we can cut off the excess paper. It's also really important for this project that you cover all of the teeny holes in the window, no matter how small they are. Make sure that you cover every single hole that you possibly can. So this glue will need at least overnight to dry. Um, so when you're finished, you can take it to the drying rack. And then the next day that you come to class, we can carefully peel our paper away from the plastic sheet and we have ourselves a shiny rose window. Like I mentioned before, you can cut off the extra tissue paper if anything hangs over or gets overlapped. And my favorite part of this project is the way that they look when you hang them up in a window. So I can't wait to see what yours turn out to look like. Let's get started. <laughs> 